Greetings, Fencers. This is part 3 of the Distant series going through the Teto. This is now the middle section after one or both Fencers have gone through the two faction and broken distance. Now the first piece I want to bring up is just some general fencing theory. Some manuscripts do hint or have examples of this, but in the Teto you have to really read between the lines to see it. When you cut at someone with the Forschlag, apart from you hitting, one of these three things will happen when they try to cut or pair your sword. They will either 1. Step towards you, 2. Not greatly adjust their distance, or 3. Step further from you. These options are somewhat out of your control and will change how your techniques will look, so be sure to practice everything from those three different distance options. Now one of the technique elements that can directly relate to this is Treivunda, cut, thrust, slice. Multiple factors can go into which you choose, but this is one of them. So here we've gone through the Zufation with the Zornhau. Mark, this is when you hew into him with the Rathew. Then you shall be entirely ready with the winding on the sword, since each single winding has three particular techniques, which are a hew, a stab, and a slice. Then you shall think precisely well, so that you do not incorrectly drive the technique that pertains in that winding, so that you do not hew when you should stab. The point is the longest range element of swordplay, so if our opponent steps back and we try to cut, we could either miss or have to overextend our hanging structure leading to a higher failure rate. The point is instead a better option. And not slice when you should hew. Everything stays true here as well. If our opponent is at a medium distance, then trying to slice may lead to us overextending and losing the control in a bind that a hanging gives us. Instead, the cut will be the strongest option. And not stab when you should slice. Whenever we end up closer to our opponent and our point is already past them, then it can be near impossible to get that point online, and instead forcing the blade to the head, neck or arms with slicing is the best option. We're also given an example of Treivunda as a fight progression and closing distance concept. So if one parries your thrust, then execute the cut. If someone runs in, then execute the underslice into their arms. Remember this in all hits and bindings of the sword. Move on to the next as each attack fails and distance closes. Now after we make the Vorschlag, one of the best pieces of advice is the concept of Nachschlag. When reading about the Nachschlag or after strike, one of the biggest pieces of advice that stand out is, it should be done fast. If you want to do the Vorschlag, you should also do the Nachschlag, just with the same thought or the same intention if possible. He should instantly execute the Nachschlag, that means that he attacks again while the other is still protecting himself from the Vorschlag be it with a strike or a thrust. You should try to gain the Vorschlag, and as soon as you execute it, so do in one rush instantly and without break the Nachschlag. Now something to note when reading some translations is the word instantly is often the word for Indes. Indes does not mean instantly, but instead encompasses the concept of feeling and reacting. However, in this case Indes is not the word used, and instantly was used to mean fast, quickly, or immediately. Translators are being more conscious of not using the word instantly. The old masters know that once you've entered into close distance, people don't have the reaction time to do what they want. You shall nimbly work on the sword so he is struck before he becomes aware of it. In 3227A we see lots of talk about earnest fighting, fighting to win at all costs. Also know that when you wish to fence in earnest, then you shall have a finished piece in your mind, any technique you want that is complete and correct and hold it in all seriousness and firmly in your mind when you want to close with him as if you would say, this is what I intend. You should never do a Vorschlag if you have not prepared the Nachschlag in your senses and mind as well, so that you are always in constant motion and never should you pause or hesitate. Always do one after the other quickly and fast so that your adversary cannot do any technique. When dealing with your life, you're not going to get too close without a plan. You're not leaving your life to chance. Because with this art, or advantage, it often happens that a peasant or anyone untrained defeats a skilled master by gaining the Vorschlag and rushing in quickly. The first person to act, once distance is broken, will often win, no matter who it is. So now let's look at the bind and feeling. That is the one thing that may save you in close distance. A German longsword practitioner should be relying on it fully in most binds. Here we see another Vorschlag context against someone likely skilled with the sword. If you now hit with the Vorschlag, so instantly follow through with the hit. However, if he defends the Vorschlag so that he turns aside or leads off the attack, be it a strike or a thrust, away from the attendant opening with his sword, you should now, with the swords are still being in contact, feel or be aware of whether he is soft or hard, weak or strong at the sword. In this case, turning aside or abwenden is likely winding with a hanging and they won the center line. 
so you lost the Vorschlag and can't safely move the Nachschlag. He is strong or hard. In the very moment he realizes this, he should, while the adversary is still protecting himself, become soft and weak, and in the case of the adversary being weak, vice versa. It should be a fast decision with two choices, hard or soft, and generally just do the opposite. We see examples all throughout the Zettel, with some very explicit ones in the speaking window section. So you can stand happily with relaxed mind and without fear at the sword and see, notice, and wait for what he tries to do next, be it soft or hard. From practice, that phrase would not come to mind with two people cutting at each other and entering a close bind. Instead, I would only be comfortable letting them try to take the before or act if they had moved to the side or backwards and we were further. This lets you react to their movement earlier than eyesight. The last little piece of distance information is if we did not make a Vorschlag and we were forced to the after. It's one of the most specific pieces of advice in the sources when it comes to distance. And if it happens that the adversary got the Vorschlag, so he should be well practiced and quick with the Abwenden, and as soon as he turned off the adversary, he should move as quickly as possible, and his point should always aim for the chest, as you will hear now, and the point should, as soon as he comes to the adversary's sword, be always within half an L of either chest or face. Also, he should be well aware if he can move in boldly for the next opening. So when someone cuts at us, instead of retreating, we are advised to wind, set aside, and step in moderately close, getting our point around 30 to 40 centimeters or a foot from their face or chest, and then be immediately prepared to drive the point and take the before. It's one of the best ways to aggressively take the before from the after. It's also one of the few, if not maybe the only places I've found a specific distance measurement. There is also some continuing advice, however I've found three different translations with conflicting sentences. The German in 3227a is more difficult for me to read compared to Ringek and Danzig, so I'm not going to go in depth in this because it would take a while and not have a decisive conclusion. Feel free to pause and read for yourself, and if you can read German feel free to comment your own translation, transcription down below. So again we see very little specifics on distance, but looking very closely at lines in the Zettel and Gloss, we can find some information to help us with distance and what choices or how we modify in different distances. One of the biggest factors that affects the plays and techniques is whether your point has passed them or not. I didn't want to make this video so long, so I didn't cover everything I found. Feel free to share quotes below. The handwork, plays, techniques, etc. have tons of possibilities and concepts. These are just some to keep in mind. A Nachschlag can be quite a deep concept. If you're unfamiliar with it, then be sure to do a bit of reading on it. And if he defends against the Vorschlag, he instantly comes to the Nachschlag while the adversary is still defending, for example by rushing in with the Pommel or transitioning into a Zwerchau, which are generally good. You then hasten the Nachschlag into the opponent thereafter, immediately without refrain, be it the second, the third, or the fourth strike, either hew or stab. Then the opponent can never come to strikes. I see it as the cut that you use once you've committed to crossing in distance with a cut that is almost sure to hit, and from there move to finish, generally with grappling or withdrawing, regardless of whether you've each made multiple cuts and keep the distance wide. The next video will be advice and quotes once you've closed distance and enter Ringen or wrestling. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing.